Now, if we remember, the deal here is there's a carriage, and uh, we got to protect the packages. Oh, Sheriff actually helped us there. That's unbelievable. Well, I'll cross one off the uh, off the list of um, kills. You know, we lost one package, so we wouldn't be getting the achievement for doing this completely free of loss, but that's fine. Now again, the Sheriff is actually super scary to me because his shots will kill me just as surely as any Buffalo beef heads. And I... Oh! Did our... our, our buffalo uh, burst into flames. And, of course, down we go. Boo. Losing all of our dang money. I should really let the sheriff do all the heavy lifting around here. Well, whatever. Try, try again, as they say. Actually, I just had a little bit of a brainwave, ladies and gentlemen. Because I am a big old dummy. And I don't think about things before I do them. And I don't think to myself, you know what? You know what, Bacter? You're probably going to get murdered. Why not deposit your money in the bank? All of it. So he just says, thanks, investing. Sorry, I skipped through that dialogue, but I'm trying to get back to the... Uh, trail run here. Investing your money is a great way to keep it even after you die. And I'm sure some of you who knew what you were doing in the game here are just gritting your teeth because I've been losing unbelievable amounts of money. Fortunately, the if you die in the middle of this, the quest just flat out restarts. The game is really uh, pretty generous in that sense. Oh, there goes our golden buffalo. Well done there, Sheriff. I'm just going to have to be uh, making sure to stay out of his way. There we go. And down goes them. Only a few waves left, I think. I think that's two that he's taken down that are not going to count. Of course, I guess none of these are really going to count towards my total. And off they go. And I think we did that one perfectly this time. Sorry, Buffalo Beefheads. Yep, a hundred remaining. Dark Black Jacket. I guess we didn't know that piece of information. Anyway. That sure was. Thanks, the Sheriff. Pretty deep, Sheriff. All right. Well, he he seems to be in pretty good spirits these days. Well, heck, we got another couple runs that we could do here. That we could uh, get the sheriff in on. Let's see if we can start our next run for the uh, Santa Ana Express. This uh, courier also has a contract. Maybe I need to be reminded of it out here at Fort Motors. I didn't think that delivering that would have uh, evaporated everything. Oh, I know what the problem is. I was being silly. Being exceptionally bad this this uh, playthrough, everybody. I'm sorry for making you put up with me. Incidentally, this playthrough is probably going to go a bit longer. What's the Undertaker doing out here? That's pretty creepy, man. Uh, I guess not. Uh, I don't know if he's trying to do a metaphor. Okay, yes. Okay, bye, Undertaker. You creepy, dude. Anyway, the, the courier was the wrong guy to talk to. Lieutenant Fort sent him to pick up the hats. All right, Miss Hats. Calm down. Oh, there's money. Here's 1500 
And there we go, the usual rate for the Buffalo Express driver. And we can now... Ooh, watch out with that gun there, buddy. We can now begin this little quest. Don't have any jobs. Oh, um, uh, Yeah. Now, incidentally, uh, if I'm just the messenger, he offers me a reward. If I'm a military man, he says I need to do it because of my duty, and I want some money. Huh. How much am I gonna get? The regular? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, how about that? There we go. Oh, hush. And... Let's head back. If you remember, I don't think that these are the beefhead bulls who go after these ones. I think it's just, uh... Well, he's doing way better. Sure am. I could use some help. So we got two things here. He still won't take that job. And there we go. He's more than happy to do this one. I think there's a way to hear that the uh, Beefhead Bulls are threatening to take over uh, Rancher Richard's shipment and thus to get the sheriff to help you out with it. Well, there he is again. Ready to help out. Hope I don't lose this $50 here. I really should have deposited this in the bank, too. But again, well, it says Beefhead Bulls, but these guys are dressed differently. Can't lose more than four. Got it. No problem. The AI isn't uh, really superb here. Ugh. Crying out loud. Well, there's 50 down the tube. Let's, uh, let's rush back at it. It's not even worth protecting at this point. Again, uh, bro is hard mode. Although it is nice if whoever keeps finding us, I'm a little concerned that it might be the Undertaker. And that's not really concerning, except that it's just creepy. Although I guess, worst case is he would just take our boots. And let's go. Again, if we were doing this with Bro, or uh, anybody else, really. If we were doing this with the hero, I mean, not with his Bro, who's who we are now. If we were doing this with anybody else, then uh, things would be different. He would just shoot our hat off. There we go. That got him. He wouldn't have got that, but I'm being extra special careful, as I'm sure you can imagine. It uh, pays to be in this kind of a situation. This looks like the big final rush. Yep, sure enough. You take care of that. And the military's got plenty of hats. Very nice. And what's Sheriff got to say about that? Sheriff's redemption quest is complete. There you go. Oh, thanks. You know what? I agree, Sheriff. I sure did. Yeah, I do know who it is. Oh, not you. It's this lady. Yeah. Here's all your hats. And I got 1,500. Now I could take this and run, but, uh... And here we go. Should we try reasoning? Okay, so we got one more quest for the fort, which is we need to take the buffalo from Rancher Richard. 
before that, let's go clear up a few things back in Santa Ana. First off, we've got the money to give back here to the haberdasher. Delivery did go reasonably well. And there we have it. Colorless jacket on his back. That's all. Thanks, ma'am. So she's happy now. We're happy. And uh, there's only a few more loose ends to tie up. Let's head back to Clintville. And talk to Sheriff now that he seems a bit sassier and happier. My goodness, look at all this. He's, he's been busy. Yes, sir, I am. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Guess I'll just do it myself. You know what? First, though. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that now, actually. I think... Now that we've, uh, now that we've got two runs, see, you see that the sheriff is feeling like his old self after that successful ride. That means we have got the sheriff's confidence back, and you see he's managed to scoop up a lot of bandits from the region, so our, uh, our good deeds spread. quite yet. I've got one final idea in order to get the sheriff on our side here. We need to find out about the job and the beefhead bulls when buffalo beefheads, the beefhead bulls won't talk to us. Let's go right to the horse's mouth. Mr. Oil Tycoon, you can do anything? Oh, really? No jobs for me, huh? Yeah, I think you might have something. Well, see, there we go. Thanks, Mr. Uh, Mr. Tycoon. Now we have some kind of evidence that uh, something bad's gonna happen, and we might be able to convince Mr. Sheriff to help us out with it. So let's get back, and before I talk to the Sheriff and go on this ride here, I'm sure as heck depositing my 550. I'd like to deposit, and I'd like to deposit 550. There we go. That ought to put us up near 1400, which Unbelievably, I've somehow managed to scrape together to get near that. Do we, Sheriff? What's up? Oh, no! You got it, Sheriff. Uh, I'm gonna say I've been deputized again, and so anything that may happen in the course of my adventures here is uh, not to be counted against my total. There we go. Nice shooting there, Sheriff. And hey, if I happen to uh, shoot the hat off of one or two of them, I'll count that a victory as well. Ooh, a mess of them down here. I'll do a hat shot wherever. Ah, darn it. See, Sheriff, this is why I deposit my money. Apologize for y'all seeing my failure reel out here in. Uh, in real time, like yeah, but that's fine. I think uh, if I just take the horse right back, then people will. And the the sheriff joins me. Forget if he's at the door to his uh, sheriff's office. If he's inside, now you can see that the um, 
criminals have all been busted out, so he just must be to the south here. That was the, uh, the sheriff there. Sure didn't mean to shoot off your hat, friend. There we go. Let's take a little reloading time here before attacking on out the, uh, southern posse. Break free of that. There we have it. And I think... There we go. You just gotta chase him off, uh... Chase him off screen like that. Okay. Now we've, uh... Defended against the giant breakout by killing a lot of them, so technically doing worse than the sheriff. You know, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rancher Bob needs help. Oh, actually, I was meaning to talk to you about that one. There we go. Yes, it does. I'm a little sad I didn't do this one earlier, to be honest with you, because there's a really cool exchange you can get with the sheriff. Uh, wherein, if you talk to him before, uh, he regains his courage by doing those other rides. I sure am, buddy. Yep. Not while I'm around, you're not. Yeah, we've got a, too many allies here. This is just a big, ugly brawl. You thought it was bad with just, uh, Rancher Richard. At least everybody's kind of shooting the same way, so I can just stay in the back of them. That does make things convenient. They're not really bad shots, either, to be honest with you. Anyway, I was saying there's a really cool exchange you can have with the, uh, the sheriff. Hey, there we go. Get on out of there, beefhead. Buffalo beef head, beef head balls. 300 bucks, not bad. Yeah, we know about this one. Yep, dark blue pants. Anyway, he said all that to us. Sheriff's happy as normal. I think I will. Okay, Sheriff. Thanks, buddy. It's nice to see you got your coffins back. Ah. I think we can avoid the fighting. That would be a good step. There we go. Having gained the trust of both sides through, unfortunately, some violent means, we have now uh, convinced both of them that peace is possible. We may be reconciling two of the most violently opposed factions that there are. Two more warnings, so I guess if we talked to him enough, then we couldn't do that. Nice that he gives us a whole bunch of... Uh, <laughs> warnings and trials there. No, it is not time for battle. The chief will have his say. Which is uh, a nice way of saying, boy, I hope you actually got it together and got the chief to agree to peace, because his brother sure doesn't want it. His brother is fairly warlike. And, uh, so he's not gonna go for peace just on his own. But he will listen to his older brother, the Chief. Oh, uh, makes me sad. Here's where the other hail shot sister fell. You can see we're up to 154%. You know what? There is some extra space that's gonna be explored when we explore the murderer's hideout. I forgot about that bit. Do beware coyotes, of course. They've got the war music going. But look at this. Oh, man. 
We negotiated a peace treaty? Are you kidding me? More haikus, that's nice. Yeah, I'm not sure that was the thing to say. But hey, here's Ford Motors and everybody has joined arms in brotherhood. That's just the kind of positive influence we have on a place. They are reasonable. See, if you just sit down and talk a little bit, then uh, people can really have a good outcome. Well, thank you. I didn't say that I had a father in the army. Although I could see where you might make that mistake. Anywho, back to Clintville we go. Not too much else to do, to be honest with you. Let me deposit everything else that I have in the bank. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Depositing in my bank is depositing in the world around me. Oh, there's money for where we killed a man. Ah, forgot about that. Let's go see Miss Tress. Let me say. Been there. Uh, oh, I don't know if I was expecting to hear that, Miss Tress. Well, look at that. Thanks for a hundred dollars. I bet you had. You said you had. No, well, whatever. And so, yes, if you don't choose to help the, uh, the sheriff regain his composure, you can indeed have an affair with Miss Tress down there. But, uh, you can do what I consider to be... Oh, look, now there's, uh... <laughs> Soldiers and uh, and uh, Indians, quote Native Americans in here. You can uh, you can get Miss Tress back together with the sheriff. Well, there we go. Sure can't handle myself. I am ready. Okay, five wanted men to justice. Nothing else for now, Mr. Sheriff. So I got uh, five bounties to collect. And hopefully I'll be able to do this um, without killing anybody in order to preserve the run. And then honestly, that will be it before I tackle the murderer. So I think I'm going to do one bounty and then I'm going to cut out and uh, then you guys, you know, we'll see how the rest goes. You can see that the buffalo beef heads, the beef head bulls, have more or less completely cleared out from this area as we've uh, driven them away on all of their numerous runs. So let's go find out how the bounties work. There's uh, two conditions that you can get people in. Obviously alive and dead, and different posters want people in different states of being. And we're gonna want one that they allow us for them to take alive. And around Clintville is the best, because that means that they're close around. So you get a description for them, just like this one here. And around Clintville, they're, they're usually found within a one uh, square tile, whatever you want to call it, radius of where they are. It looks like this is our man right here. So, uh, lady, you don't want to be talking to this guy right now. What's going to happen is they're going to chuckle and get along real well. And then she's going to walk away, and he's going to walk away from everybody else. And then he's going to stop in a place. And we are going to shoot his hat right off of him there. And he will march as long as we have our gun trained on him. And we, you know, people get a little agitated with our gun being out, but they won't actually get mad unless we fire it. We're going to march this guy right back into the jail. If, um, if you're not right in Clintville, then... You march him to a horse, and you ride it to Clintville, and you take him back to the jail. And then we get $250. I'm about to go and uh, get f four more of these things done, so I will catch you guys after that.
back, everybody. That is our five, and you know, darn, if uh, they don't sort of randomly select which wanted posters you get, and there were just not that many alive ones today. I tried to get other bandits to kill uh, the wanted people where they could, but uh, there was only one who they wanted alive, even dead or alive, so there he is right up in there. Anyway, damn. Thank you. Uh, no, you had a whole bunch up there. Big belt buckles. And he wants a deputy. And we're going to do a little experiment, uh, because I'm not actually sure if this is going to work or not. Incidentally, you might have seen that while I was going after one of my bounties, I tried to shoot the murderer and... Or I tried to shoot the bounty and shot past him and hit the murderer, which uh, made him run and get on his horse. So I think if we get on a horse in here now, then he'll, um, we'll just go to the murderer's hideout right away, which is pretty funny. But that's the kind of thing that happens. Okay, the beefhead bulls don't like me. Um, in fact, it is the beefhead bulls who will become the uh, deputies, if time permits. But uh, that is not for this playthrough. I think as soon as we drove them out of the tunnels and out of their hideout by uh, taking them out in all of those chase sequences that kind of sealed our fate. Also, I believe we are just shy of $3,000. Uh, yep, $2,771. I easily could have had this much money if I hadn't lost so much of it, but... Uh, there you have it. So we can't actually purchase the house. That's the full price without Miss Tress's half. But you know what? That suits this run. We are a wanderer, and we are not we are not to be tied down by uh, idle notions of home ownership. Again, that I think that'll be for our next run. So let's finish out by getting a nice little piece of hardware here. This is going to be the rifle. And... Um, actually... You need to go get the money. I forgot you can't charge to your bank account. You can only do that for buying the house. It's not going to be no house at all if it's just us in it anyway. I think uh, it, perhaps in a future run we will woo Miss Tress ourselves, and then with her uh, half of the money she can she can stay at our new place. Anyway, I'd like to get out a thousand, please. Yes, yes, yes. Investing in my local bank is investing in the, uh, the whatever the economy, I guess, which is accurate. Anyway, with all that largesse in hand, let's now head down and uh, purchase ourselves a rifle. I would like to buy it. And thank you, this is now the maximum number of weapons you can hold, three. I think I'm happy with my current getup, honestly. I think it looks fashionable enough, I don't see the need to buy anything new. Let's give this sucker a try, and here's the uh, target practice room. Kind of fun. The rifle, it uh, has a telescoping lens, I guess, and it pierces. It reloads and fires a little slower, uh, but it is, gosh, it's nice. Obviously more useful in a violent type of playthrough, so we won't be using it all that much. Is that supposed to be like a broken... I don't know what that thing looks like. It looks like a duck from uh, Duck Hunter or something like that. Anyway, we've now got our final weapon that we'll be using, and let's uh, see who our wanted man is. I, he, he ran and got on the horse a while ago, but we left the screen since then, so I don't know if it's going to count that. We'll see here. No, it won't count that. I think, I think he, he will still be on this screen, hopefully. Hopefully he didn't just vanish forever. I've never actually seen that happen before. Uh, so let's just sort of scope around and see if we can find the man. It may have respawned him in a random place in Clintville or Santa Ana. Though, as I said, knowing exactly what he looks like as we do, we will uh, not be too hard put upon to find him, hopefully. And as mentioned, he can be really anywhere within the environs of either town. I have... 
it, it seems relatively common to me to, to hit the guy sort of by accident, because I feel like maybe I just remember the runs where that happens, and so I'm, like, you know, overestimating the number of times. Usually the best way to find these guys when you're looking around is to look at the bandana color. I think this is our man. In fact, I am very sure that this is our man. Yep, sure was. He didn't die, and, uh... I do, I do dare chase you. I doubt that. Now, um, here we are at the, at the end of the end. Chasing after the guy to find out who he is. Uh, one of the sort of funny parts about this is you really don't have to fight hardly anyone in his uh, entourage. I always think I'm going the wrong way, and I always am going the right way. So the uh, little laser sight on the rifle there is especially nice, especially if you're going for a no-kill run, because this allows you to hit hats more easily. There will be some of his guards coming up that we are obligated to have a little shoot fight with. You can't get through the entire game uh, without shooting anyone, but... That's fine. There we go. Got one of them down anyway. Don't want to take any chances. That ought to be enough scorpions down, though. For really delicate work, like dealing with the final boss fight with the murderer, I'm probably still going to go with the single pistol. It's just so nice and maneuverable. The only problem with this thing is it's uh, it's a little... It's got like a longer barrel, it's just... A little more awkward in general. Okay. I think this is one of the ones that they make you do. Yeah, see? Close the door on you here. And look at that. This is a place where the uh, rifle really comes into its own. Knock the hats off a couple of these suckers, too. Ugh. I didn't get them. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, I've never died here before, and uh, now you'll see what happens. Fortunately, they just transport you right back to the start. I don't know what that was all about. I want to go to the murderer's hideout right where I am. Okay, I'm going to meet up with you guys when I'm back to where I was before. And welcome back. This is uh, me facing off versus these guys round two. I forget exactly what did me in last time. I guess it was just... Tricky maneuvering instead of a lot of running around and setting up shots, which is what you really need to do. There's no sense in trying to be sneaky with this kind of thing. Anyway, on we rush. Okay, we need to remember exactly what this guy looks like, because if you recall, in this bit, I think he's got a silver buckle. Yep, so he's the one on the right. They do a little fake out. Again, if you go after the wrong guy, they just make you endure a fight you don't need to. Uh, incidentally, I cannot even hat shot these guys. So determined are they that... Uh, you know what, I'm just going to go back to the single pistol. It's just got a lot of advantages. I think there's a, a shorter time between when you shoot and when you can run away. Don't get me wrong, rifle's really good, and I think I'm going to go back to it again for the uh, horse fight coming up here. But the slower reload time... Yeah, 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 I'm just a big just a kid wearing whatever. Ugh. I'm just not used to its, uh, its tempo. In fact, I think we're going to abandon the rifle altogether, folks, and I'm just going to go with the single pistol here. This has got to be, like, what, my sixth or seventh death? I got... Turns out I'm really garbage with bro. Anyway, back to the single pistol we go. Fortunately, they let you go right back here to the horse ride. The game is relatively forgiving, as you can see. Unless you're on Iron Man, in which a single death completely erases your save file. And it's obviously as fun as, uh, as, it's, it's fun as you think things like that are. I say that. If that kind of challenge is your game, then uh, Iron Man is where you want to be. That horse kind of clipped out there and was just running into nothing. I don't think we could have been Compadre's murderer. Not with the way I've been playing bro. Now, the final fight against the murderer is obviously 
even tougher than before, as, uh, as bro, on account of that whole one-shot death thing. But we'll put a smile on our face and a song in our heart and realize that we've made the most of our time here and really drastically cleaned up. I mean, the only conflict left is the brawl between the tycoon and the ranchers. Everything else has been cleared up. And uh, that's because there's not really a, uh, a perfect, peaceful resolution to that conflict. There's going to be blood either way. So uh, you'll see more of that in the next playthrough, I guarantee you that. Again, the... Uh, He gets all weapons, and he's got a ton of hats. I hate these double pistol businesses. There we go. Man, if I'm gonna first time this. Yes! <laughs> awesome. Alright, bro. Who do we got here? I believe it has. Well, no, probably not. Why did he do it? Brother of mine, huh? Little brother? Tend in another man's garden. Oh no, what are you talking about? Miss Tress! Oh gosh! Little brother was having an affair with uh, Miss Tress. The sheriff? No, I think it was him. <laughs> I guess he was another husband of Miss Tress somewhere along the way. I don't know if that is beautiful, murderer. Uh. Well, I've done a bunch. I actually fully disagree with you this time. Yeah, I've cleaned up this whole area. I've done good by everybody. Long enough. I've got so much more to do. And I've been building a life for myself right here. See you around, murderer. So this is an appropriate time for me to talk about the ending and how I think it's super neat. And I think it's a really neat twist. Basically, there are a bunch of win conditions for the game. Well, there's, there's conditions in the game. The only real win condition is killing the murderer. Uh, there's another kind of goofy one. We'll see that later. Actually, there's a couple of the goofy ones. Anyway... The point is, um, you will advance in standing with various factions. Miss Tress is actually one of them. Uh, rancher, oiler, people like that. And if you fulfill conditions which are, you have to progress a certain degree with them, and it has to be in support of them, then the murderer can be affiliated with that faction. So in other words, if you're against somebody and you're for someone else, the murderer will have been aligned with the people you were for. It kind of twists the knife at you in the end in this really neat way. And uh, we'll be seeing that up close and personal when we take our next run. We're going to have to take sides in one of the two major conflicts besides us versus the murderer in the West. Next time we'll either be uh, taking the side of the ranchers or the side of the oil, the oil tycoon. And so I really look forward to that. Thanks for sticking with me through this, what is definitely going to be the longest playthrough of the game. And I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Westerado. Adios.